Are you stressed out? Do you know why you're so stressed? Many of us experience stress for a lot of different reasons. Some of the main causes for stress include work, finance, health, and relationships. Over 70% of Americans regularly experience physical and psychological symptoms caused by stress. 48% say stress negatively affects their professional and personal lives. Stress itself cannot kill you, but over time, it can cause damage that leads to premature death. This damage can be anything from cardiovascular issues to encouraging unhealthy habits like smoking and alcohol abuse. You can live longer if you have less stress in your life. That's why taking control over your stress is very important. The Bible did not say that we will not have stress in our lives, but the Bible did give us a strategy on how to deal with stress. The Bible tells us to trust in the Father and to focus on His priorities and rest on His care. We need to avoid looking too far into the future and for us to stop worrying about it. We are not to concern ourselves so much with earthly things, but rather to look to God first, making His priorities our priorities and resting in His care. Colossians 3 verse 1 to 4 tells us, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you die and your life is heading with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. And in 1 Peter 5 verse 7 tells us to cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us. If you find yourself stressed, please remember the truth of who God is and how he cares for you. 1 John 2 verse 1 tells us, My little children, these things are right to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate in the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And in Romans 8 verse 34, the Bible tells us, Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore, he also risen. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercessions for us. So when you find yourself in a stressful time in your life, surrender to God's plan for your life. He will supply you with what you need to see you through. When we rely upon Him in trust, we can experience God's joy in the midst of stressful time. James 1 verse 2 to 4 tells us, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And Romans 5 verse 1 to 5 tells us, We have been justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom also we have access by faith into His grace, in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. Today we are going to spend time focusing on Bible promises for stress that God offers us every day in His goodness and love through His words. Confess the scriptures over your loved ones and yourself. Remember that as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Let us begin. James 1 verse 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Luke 21 verse 19, stand firm and you will win life. Psalm 119 verse 43, trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands give me delight. Matthew 6 verse 34, therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Exodus 14 verse 14, the Lord will fight for you and you have only to be silent. Philippians 4 verse 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Luke 12 verse 25 to 26, and which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do a smaller thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Proverbs 3 verse 4 to 6 
so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Psalm 94 verse 19 When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10 for the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Psalm 55 verse 12 Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 to 7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. Joshua 1 verse 9 have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Proverbs 12, verse 25. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. Psalm 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. John 14, verse 27 Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Psalm 23, verse 4 Even though I walk to the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff that comfort me. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let us pray. My Father in heaven, grant me peace in my heart. Eliminate the pain and relieve me of the stress I feel. Allow your serenity and love to consume me. Father, please relax my mind, my body, and my soul as I surrender myself to you. Revive the joy and energy I once had. Allow your light to infiltrate through the darkness and grace me so I can smile again. Father, equip me with the strength and courage I need to overcome this stressful situation in my life. Thank you for loving me and giving me grace when I fall short. Thank you for what you did on the cross and for dying for my sins. Lord, despite my current situation and circumstance, I give you control of what is happening in my life and ask you to give me peace. Lord, I know nothing I'm experiencing is a surprise to you. I can trust you with this because you love me enough to send your son Jesus to die for me. I ask that you use this situation to grow my faith and dependence on you, and that through this experience, my faith will be bigger and stronger. Father, move me forward into triumph and victory as the stresses of this world just swiftly fall away from me. As the sound of your great name, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray tonight. Amen.